Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I want to let you know that there is a fat giveaway on this video, even though it's not in the title. I'm going to be putting the giveaway info and the rules to the series down in the pinned comment, so make sure you check that out. If you guys decide to check out Zeros, make sure you talk to the referral tutor at home. He'll ask how you heard about us, type in Wet Wizard when it pops up, and you'll get yourself a free YouTube mystery box and some other goodies. So first of all, if you haven't seen the first episode, I definitely recommend it because there is a lot of rules. And if you don't know what's going on, it kind of just looks like two people are playing hardcore Iron Man. But to kick off episode two, we both decided that at the start of each of our five hour session, we're each going to open an ultra mystery box and whatever item we get can be used for that five hour session only. And at the end, it has to be emptied. We can't foe it for points or anything like that. It has to just straight up be deleted. I actually ended up losing the audio for the clip in the intro. But long story short, I got the poison abyssal dagger, which is basically useless. And he got Armadillo Chain Skirt, which is actually, funny enough, the only PC needed because he already had full carols, but he had green dehyde chaps. So in terms of collection log entries, things are looking a bit rough considering I have basically none and he got the blowpipe on 7kc. And I didn't get a blowpipe in that same session, so that means I can literally never get a blowpipe unless he loses his hardcore status. Now people saw this and they said, oh, well, Effigy already won. But the thing is, is I spent my first episode basically preparing my account to get really basic required items like the fire cape, the defender, crystal slayer, all that stuff. And that's why this episode is called the execution because the first one is called the plan. And in this one, I'm carrying out all the things that I prepared my account for in the first episode. Now, the goal by the end of this episode is basically to be able to do bosses efficiently and have gear to actually enter the mid game slash early end game a lot quicker than he can. Because he's not going to have supplies, he's not going to have basic equipment. So in that sense, I can beat him to the big drops. But our Slayer task is still the Crystal Scorpions, we're definitely going to do that. Oh, we have to go foe the Carol Skirt because we lost it. So he owns full Carols, uh, that's kind of unlucky. We do have Black Dehyde, so it's meh. I might try to beat him to Armadillo so I don't get blocked out of like all of the range gear. But I'm also aiming to get full Corrupted, so I don't really need Armadillo. I'm not really sure what I'm doing yet. Oh, I definitely need that Magic Short Bow still, so I might go do Fletching for a bit. Oh, actually, you know what I can do? I can do Crystal Slayer for bars and then make darts, and then that'll train my Fletching up. So yeah, first things first, we're going to go back to Crystal Slayer. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and try to grab a Black Mask from the Cave Horrors. I got a Mask 1KC on my other account. So uh, hopefully I can keep some of that same luck here. These also drop a lot of seeds and herbs, so it's not bad. Look at that, two dwarf weeds and a dwarf weed seed on my first kill. Ooh, a clue. Nothing very useful. Okay, I'm definitely not getting the luck that I had on my Iron Man with this black mask. I've already killed 30, and the rate is one in 110. I am at 70 cave horrors that I haven't had it yet. This is really unfortunate. When I've spent 30 minutes here, I'll probably leave and do Crystal Slayer. This is really fucking unfortunate. 100 KC, no mask. Oh, another clue. <laughs> I, yeah, there's no words for that. Oh, another clue. I have no words for that either. 140 dry. Oh, this is AIDS. Well, I'm at 170 kills, almost 30 minutes, still no black mask. I guess I'll stay till 200 and then I'll go do my crystal task. So unfortunate, man. Oh, I thought I was not even at 200 yet, but 210 dry, spent over 35 minutes here. Gonna kill this last one and then go do crystal slayer, I guess. I'm fucking pissed, not gonna lie. That's depressing. We did get a fuck ton of natures and some seeds though. Got Alk runes for cash this time. Oh my. Ah, oh, yes. Just yes. Finally, something good, bro. This is my first ever crystal task, by the way. These are over 1 in 1k. I think it's basically the same stats as Carol's, so I'll take it. I brought these runes for Alex, and I'm still on Ancients. First crystal task done, 81 slayer and we have 140 slayer points, holy shit. First things first, I'm gonna go and grab bee gloves from the slayer store. 100 points, thank you, and a torso is 400, so that won't be for a while. Those look much better. 
But yeah, the main reason I wanted Crystal Slayer, as I said, is mostly because of these supplies. Like, these are just way too good. Crystal Rats, that's really good for no cannon. I really want to see these keys start coming in. Oh, the coal drops are so good, I don't have to mine coal. Oh yes, first one. Now when I have a ranged weapon, I can actually go and kill Hunleth. Oh, there's no fucking way. <laughs> there's no way. Oh, yes. My luck is turning. Dude, these are like 1 in 1.3k each. And I have done two crystal tasks. Another task is done. Quite good loot, I'd say. I think I'm going to spam this until 85 Slayer. Or, mm, I'll do it until I decide to go get the uh, requirements for MSB. I was really hoping, because I thought I'd get more Addy Bars. Oh, but that reminds me, I could just go do Aviancies. Oh, fuck, there's something that drops Rune Bolts in stacks. I could kill those for the Rune Bolts, and then kill Aviancies for a crossbow, and use the crossbow to kill the Aviancies some more, and get Bars to do Fletching with Darts. I don't need the darts anymore because I don't have access to blowpipe. But it's still really good fletching XP. We still have a little bit over four hours. Ooh, another clue. Rangers. So, dude. <laughs> Disgusting! Another task is done. Look at all these supplies, bro. Feels so good. Crystal key. Give me Raynars, please. Or prayer pots. Fuck. Need prayer pots, so I'm going to train my farming so we can plant our snapdragon seeds to make restores. Well, that farm run didn't get me 63, so I'm going to have to do one more. Just got the mob killer one achievement for two free crystal keys. Could be good prayer pots. Please, 50 Raynars. Oh, it's just too good. It's just too good. Now I need to go stop at Hellhounds real quick to grab more snape grass. Ooh, hard clue. Oh, that's so fucking good. Let's go, dude. God dehyde boots. I don't even need the ranger boots anymore, dude. Well, I do for pagations, but. Finally, some more snape grass. Ooh, yes. So we have enough for 23 prey pots, and then after that, I'll just go and farm snapdragons. Another crystal task done. One more slayer level for the abbeys. Oh, there's an Outlast. Okay, this guy wants to run around. Now he doesn't get to use his other spec. Dude, I'm telling him to sit for sure. No shot, man. No shot. Oh, I see. No way you died like that. I'm so unlucky it's not even funny. Yes, we have a chance. Oh my god, let's go. Chance. Oh my god, if he hit my Venge, I could have killed him easily. Come on, man, I need this. Of course it's a 54 and my redemption never procs. So sad. About three hours left. Oh, finally another key. I thought I was gonna go three tasks dry. I can't really complain though, considering we got the two crystal pieces. And that's 85 Slayer. Hopefully we get Abby Demon's next task. Although I do kind of want to kill Hunle first to see if I get a whip drop because that would save me having to sit at abbey demons last kill for the task we have a fuck ton of alks and of course i forgot my alks i kind of want to do two more tasks so we have the uh, point bonus for 10 but just for fun let's see if it happens oh actually yes 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 we're going back it is a bonus drop rate right now so definitely should see the black mask or i'll be very upset and ranger boots nope oh another one like two kills later junk task done no mask again but i'll kill a few more because it's double drop rate that's upsetting i am 250 dry of a mask oh 
Oh, thank God. <sighs> Get me out of here, dude. That was about 300 kills for a black mask, by the way. Let me grab another crystal task for the 10th streak. Hey, another crystalline key. I think I'm at four. Oh, it's done. I have the full set. I don't know if you get it like in order the first time you get it or if I'm just really lucky because this has happened on two accounts. I got all three pieces before getting any dupes. I am definitely not complaining though. 87 Slayer, which is also, I think that's the requirement for Kraken. It's not 100% sure. Oh, we just got one hour of 2x Slayer points as well. Wait, I might go get my double scroll. I don't know if it'll stack with that. That'd be fucking busted. But let me go get it. Okay, one more till the task is done. The double slayer points is active and I just use a scroll. We only got 80 points. I thought we would get a lot more than that, to be honest. But we have 500 slayer points. It's actually a fuck ton. Now let's go ahead and unlock the... Oh, fuck. We need 50 more points for the slayer helmet imbue. But we'll go ahead and learn it for now. And then go over to the shop and buy all the pieces we need. And we should be able to make a Slayer Helmet. There we go. Another medium clue. Garbage. Oh, another key. Oh, I have like five in my bank. This is so good. And I just checked the drop table and apparently spiritual warriors can drop a magic shortbow at 1 in 28, I think it was. Plus it's double drop rate still, so I might be able to go snag myself one without having to do hard clues and shit. Head over to bosses, god wars, and I think most spiritual mages are at Zami, I could be wrong. Or spiritual warriors, I think I said mages. Okay, where the fuck are spiritual war- okay, there's one. Now, do they actually drop the short bow? Yes, they do. 1 in 28. Ah, oh, come on, make it quick. The only problem is there's one spiritual warrior in this whole fucking cave. I guess I'll just camp this one and then run over and kill the spiritual mage while they wait. Maybe get D-Boots. D-Boots are 1 in 102 and it's double drop rate, so... About 1 in 50, not bad. Ooh, hard clue. Magic shortbow. Ooh, got the eyed body. Slight upgrade from the black d -eyed. Give me this magic shortbow, please. Uh, bro, at this point I should have just got AD fletching. Dude, why is it everything with the low drop rate I can't get as a drop? But then I get crystal pieces every task, it seems like. Hey, there we go, just as I'm complaining. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's 1 in 35 from this one? Wait, I swear I had Addy Arrow's P earlier, which were on the same table. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, if I don't get it here, I'm honestly just gonna go do fletching. Yeah, I see BA. I'll just call it luck that I got the D-boots while I was here. I gotta make sure I look like a noob in case he finds me. Can I make these yet? Oh, I can. So we need 74 smithing to make Addy Dart Tips. We need 52 fletching to make Mithril, which I have. And at 67 fletching, we can make Addy Dart Tips. Oh wait, I have a shit ton of iron dart tips in the bank. It's gonna be slow XP, but I really don't care. I'll just AFK this for a sec until we get, what was it, 64? 67. Then we can do Addy Darts. More try hard smelting, no big deal. 67 smithing, we can do the Addy Dart Tips, but we need one more smithing level. And there it is. All right, a bit over 1.1k Addy Darts. There's also an Outlast I need to attend. So I'm just gonna sit and make these in the lobby. 9k XP per, that's actually insane. Well, per 10. We should be 80 pretty soon. And then I think eventually we need to get, I think it was 92, let me look. Oh, we only need 82 fletching to make the arrows. Not too bad. <laughs> well, I had no more bars for darts, so I was gonna go back and do Slayer until I had enough for 80 fletching, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make some U longbows. All right, there's 80 fletching. We can make the magic shortbow. Um, I'm just gonna get 82 so we can do amethyst arrows. There's the magic shortbow made after I go get a bowstring. About to be 82 and we're done. Just need the mining now. The magic shortbow is made. Now we use the scroll on a bow and we have MSBI. So the difference is, wait, there's no way it's only plus six. Oh, I thought it gave range damage. I see. Dude, I look fucking sick. 
I do need a glory though, so I might go get that real quick. I'm not even that far off and I still have an hour and a half. Okay, fuck the gem rocks. I have over 150 black dehyde leather. Ah, oh, I don't have the crafting level for any of these. clue for mining don't need any of that and there it is gonna grab a gold bar for my ammy i'll probably grab a couple dragonstone ammy guess you don't need the wool and there's our glory okay now the unfortunate bit is we need 92 mining to go to the amethyst mine Ooh, we're only 70 ores away from the mining achievement though which speeds up the xp by a fuck ton so i think once we get that it'll be fine i'll just drop all the iron and achievement done claim that wear the mining outfit and we get about i think it's like yeah that's like another 5k plus xp okay wait no not 5k like 4k but yeah i'll be 92 in no time one hour left boys hopefully the seed is still going when i get some arrows so i can actually go train range inside the crystal caves and get some bonus keys then with some 99 range i will go try to do a couple hun lift kills Dude, fuck this longbow. All right, we have about 40 minutes left and I am 200 KXP away from 92, which is not that bad. And there it is. Now we can head over to the amethyst mine. And now I feel like this is gonna mine very slow, to be honest. Oh God. Uh, 25 KXP though, holy shit. I'll probably just get like one or two inventories. Cause I do wanna, I do wanna do a hun lift kill before the session ends. So I'll probably just do one inventory and give it a go. Oh, no, I have to train my level first. All right, I'll do two inventories. Okay, I lied again. We're doing one inventory. This is too slow. Oh, I wasn't recording, but apparently I can't make amethyst until 85. So it's a fucking scam and we're settling with rune arrows. Bro, my set is so good. Ooh, another medium clue. Yuck. All right, I'm not going to finish the task in time probably. So I guess I'm just going to go do Arams for the rest of this. Just in case he went and unlocked any of it. I can at least contest some of it. Oh, plan change number 55. Fuck Arams. But real quick, we can now plant snapdragons. Bro, how many am I going to get? Holy fuck. Okay, I get it, bro. I am holding in the fattest piss on the planet. Not going to lie. Mm, it's going to pop. <laughs> It's done. And for the recap today, we went from a D Defender and a D Skim with Proselyte to this. We got full crystal, we got the glory, we got the MSBI, God Dehyde boots, and the Slayer Helm, Fire Cape, and D boots. He's not ready. Wait, I just realized I have like three minutes left. I might have enough to do one more kill. This is very risky because you can't teleport out, I don't think. So this is going to be very awkward if I uh, don't make it. Dude, I'm actually scared. Not going to lie. I don't have a range pot, but I don't think I'll take very much damage. All right. Good luck, boys. <laughs> I'm spooked. I really need him to not use the typeless damage attack like a hundred times. Luckily, he's not hitting very hard, but if he could just not use it very often at all, I'd appreciate that. And he's dead. First kill, boys. Let's go. <sighs> Let me go get a chest rate bonus. All right, boys. This is the last thing we can do for this session. We got our chest rate bonus and our key. Good luck. What? Really? Ah, that's so unfortunate, man. I could have got a whip or anything and I get these. <sighs> Big stretch. Hey, buddy. All right. To kick things off straight away, I don't have any collection logs. Wow. Okay. To show you. So, you know, I, I ended last episode with an unholy book, some initiate, you know, D skim. Yes. So I got a couple upgrades. Uh oh. I got my MSBI. <laughs> oh, no. I got my God Dehyde boots. Oh, no, dude. And Wait, did you get the amethyst arrows too? 
Well, I'm, uh, let's just say I did a lot of mining and a lot of crafting and a lot of fletching. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> That's actually really strong. That may as well be a fucking mini T-bow, dude. And, uh, got a little bit of an extra setup here. Jesus Christ. I can, I can taste your sweat. It's, oh, it's... <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you the actual good stuff. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> Go fuck yours. I'm out. I... <laughs> Bro, I'm still in green dehyde chaps. Like I'm not even trolling. This is you know how long it took me to get this, dude. I, I, Three how... tasks. Are you serious? Okay, yeah. I think it was maybe four. You know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> may or may not have already started Hunliff. Wait, you've been killing Hunliff? <laughs> maybe. God, you're ballsy, bro. I, I'm trying to stay away from like anything scary. Like at. Well, I guess you got a really good setup for it, though. Like a really good setup for it, though. Very nice. Oh, yeah? I'm proud what of you, you got, Brad. Dude? You've come far since the first episode, bro. Dude, I told you I was pulling your leg the first episode. You yeah. thought I didn't have jack shit, but I was prepping. Yeah. I, I, That's I, I, why the episode was called The Plan. I, I feel bad right now because I did get something, and it's it's kind of big, right? So, right. <laughs> Uh, I feel bad because you're very, uh, the square root of my plan is 69 and I will win this competition. You know, very meticulous, very, very, very uh, very cookie cutter. And then my strategy, <laughs> my strategy is, uh, uh, go kill snake, bunk, snake dead, drop, uh, and then very, cave, what'd you get? Very caveman to me in this episode. What'd you get? <laughs> in this episode, I said, okay, go kill monkey. Bunk monkey drop, and I ended up. Uh, well, I'll just show you. Just show I you. mean, I, I will say, I don't see you wearing it yet. It'd be a real shame if someone beat you to an anguish. Uh, I, I don't wait. Do you already have one? No, but or do I? Do no, I you? Okay. <laughs> no. It'd be a shame if someone uh spent their first hour of next episode beating you to anguish because you haven't crafted it yet. Yeah, but the uh, the Zenite is the collection log. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't the collection block log, every bro. piece of jewelry from getting <laughs> oh, one gem, you oh, dumb rat. How else are you gonna get the Zenite? No, 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 don't be a little <laughs> snake. <laughs> how else are you gonna get the Zenite, no, no, bro? No. Tell me. So after this, we kind of sat down and clarified what rules we wanted. And from here on out, we decided that things that are pieces of other big items don't block off the whole item completely. Like, so for example, if someone goes and gets an Abyssal Whip, that doesn't count because therefore the other player would not be able to get a tentacle. So in this instance, if you get a Zenite, you still have to craft it into something. So if he gets an Anguish before I do, then he blocks Anguish. So on and so forth for other items. Like I said, rule list is down below if you want to check it out. But that is going to be the end of episode two. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this series. I've seen on both my and Effigy's channel that it's doing really well. If you have any ideas, suggestions, whatever, go ahead and leave them down below. But anyways, good luck on the giveaway and I hope you guys enjoy the video.